Hello, this is Uncle Jim. Clean up aisle three. Lots of plowing and quads full of mud, muddy floor. So I washed down the floor, didn't bother with rust spots or oil too much. If you want to get oil off your garage floor, try Zep. It is awesome. Anyway, it's a beautiful day, of course. And I need to pressure wash the tractor and the quads. And that's my day. We got the chains off. Then I changed the oil in the tractor, put the bucket back on, do some yard work there. We'll use those puppies for that too. All right. Okay, got everything done, chains off. All vehicles clean from mud, plows off. Did some dressing on the tires of the tractor, and no, it's not for looks. It's for preserving. And I proved that with my van. If you guys remember my old van tires, they were cracked, super weather cracked on the inside, but not the outside, where I gave them tire treatment. Nowadays, I like to just spray them with the foam and let it eat and walk away. Boom, bang, pow. All right. Let's do a milk jug test. All right, so it's time to play, and I was wondering, what should I do a milk jug test with? Well, here we go. Uh, Glock 26, first generation. I bought it used. As a matter of fact, the night sights were going out right before 12 years, and they replaced my night sights free. It's a lot more gooder because it's undercut, it's stippled, it's been shaved, so it's comfy. And I did all that a long time ago. So we have about two inches of rifling, and I'm wondering, will it expand a 124 grain plus P golden saber? And let's see. So here's a bullet, and we'll see if that two inch, if that two inch barrel will expand in the milk jugs with this shorty here. I always called it the little big gun because it thought it was a big gun, even though it was small. It's never jammed, never had an issue, had it forever. And I have a soft spot for the Glock 26, even though it feels like a brick, until you do this and contour everything, and oh, now it's not so bad. All right, let's see what happens with 124 grain plus B Golden Saber. Okay, I finally got smart and started marking my jugs. So here's the first one. I shot it a hair right, but the sights are regulated. Blew out the back. Here's the second one where it hit. It veered a little right. Came out there. Third jug, I think we got something in here. Fourth jug has a little dent in it. So... Are we on camera? There's a dent in the fourth jug and it's weeping, but nothing in there. So, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, you can see. Oh, we got a straggler. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's better than I thought. Uh, yeah, it blew out. See where it dented out the third? He wanted to go out the third and blew this. There's the front. I'm going to have to start marking my jugs because that's way better. I know where everything is when they go everywhere. Oh my gosh, people. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Let's bring it in, weigh it, and check it. Pretty impressive for two inches of rifling and a small little snubby like that in a 124 grain. 
Heck yeah, I'll take that. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. Usually I'd save this ammo for a mid-size or full-size gun and just shoot 115s in the short little 26 here. But it did good. It's done good with Black Talons, Ranger, a bunch of other kinds uh, with a 124 or heavier. So there's that. So anyway, let's weigh it. It was a 124 grain plus P and it's 123.2 grains. So it didn't lose much. Now this is going to be interesting measuring it because the lead is smaller than the talons and the talons count because this is like brass. It's super thick. Let's do a close up here. It's super thick and the talons count. They're shredders. Come on. How come we can't focus? There. Look at that. Oh, that's just, that's downright nasty. So we're going to count the talons when we measure this now. And we'll start with the lead. So, on the lead tip here, we have about 504, probably a little larger than that. It's about five something on the largest. 502. Now let's get to the talents because they count and they're shredders. And so this is going to count 640, 639, 5, 684. <laughs> That's pretty good for uh, such a small barrel. I'll take that. The recoil was really mild. I didn't notice it was plus B or anything. It was very soft to shoot in this. So uh, that's pretty cool. Usually this I would save for uh, larger barrels. All right, so this little puppy right here used to feel like a brick, but I contoured everything and, and, and did some modifications, stippled it. It's got an extended mag release factory and extended uh, uh, slide release and then extended mag release but I beveled it so your your thumb doesn't bump it see how it's beveled right there do a close-up all right so nothing interferes everything is good the night sights are awesome and they replaced them free after uh 11.5 years <laughs> and I bought the gun used they did they had no questions asked oh I also undercut this this is a huge on these little guys you got to undercut to get your finger up there and that makes a huge difference on these guys they used to be the only game in town in a small gun that was super reliable and what I like about it is it'll use the 10 round mags 17 rounds 19 uh 22, 32, and even the drum, the 50 round drum. This thing is totally reliable with a 50 round drum, which is a novelty, but it's kind of fun in a small gun. Hope you found this interesting. Until next time, America.